Baseball Hall of Famer Jim Palmer in the booth. And, uh, Jim, evaluate what you saw from Kevin Geisman. I thought he was great. You know, get him three runs and, uh, you know, the bullpen does what they usually do for the Orioles. Probably would have got himself a win. It's pretty much the story of last year is four and seven. They got him under three runs a game. Tonight they don't score at all. Great velocity. Probably the best breaking ball I've seen him have till the sixth inning when it looked like he got a little bit tired. Uh, you know, used his change up well. Probably took about, to what, maybe the fourth inning till he started using it. But, again, when you can, uh, you have that kind of arm. And if you're going to, if you're going to draft a guy in the first round, the number four pick, that's exactly what you want. Just a matter of getting him some run support and keeping him healthy. Jimmy, you talk about great uh, out outings. Yesterday we saw Ventura. Today, Archer. They all wore out the outside corner against those Oriole hitters tonight, and nobody was really able to get a good pitch to hit. Well, you know, Depper, you, you know as well as I do that you want to use all your your arsenal you don't always know how it's going to turn out you know we've talked about change up early on uh, you know it's a pitch I don't think they expect it usually throws it about 12 percent of the time so tonight high fastballs anywhere from 93 to 97 uh, you know there's a slider right down the middle to Chris Davis you can see some waves you can see a, a you know a very confident pitcher who came into the game at 0 and 4 with an ERA over seven runs a game so he pitches well uh, you know, he strikes out 10, doesn't walk anybody. I actually thought the Orioles had a couple of good at-bats. Alvarez with a double down the left field line, got a fastball in the middle of the plate, and then Trumbo, his first time up, skied one to center just actually the second time up, uh, just missed a home run. But again, uh, you know, he pitched like I expected. I mean, he's Chris Archer. You know, they signed him to a six-year deal. He's in the third year of that, and then they have a two-year extension. He's 27 years old. So I think the Rays have a lot of... Uh, uh, belief in him and uh, tonight I think we saw the Chris Archer that made the all-star team last year. Jim you brought up uh, Pedro Alvarez with the two doubles tonight among the Orioles of five base hits. Do you see Alvarez starting to come around a little bit now? Well if he plays you know obviously it's very if you're in a slump or you're four for 37 which is what he was coming into the game it's hard to get hot sitting on the bench. So I'm sure he wants to play. I don't know if it's ever a good matchup against Chris Archer but you know he hits home runs. Yeah he'll strike out a little bit but uh, you know again nice approach took a slider the other way and then got on a, on a high fastball in the upper 90s and I just missed a home run by about 18 inches. So you know again I, I don't look at this as. Um, you know, a real negative because Gosman looked like he was healthy. Hopefully he'll come out of this. The fact, uh, as Rick Dempsey said, you know, yesterday you had Ventura and one of the best bullpens in baseball in Kansas City, and tonight you had one of the best starting pitchers pitching up to his capabilities, and stuff like this happens. You just have to come out here tomorrow night against another tough pitcher, uh, Jake Odorizzi, and, uh, you know, hope that uh, Ubaldo Jimenez can throw more strikes than he did in his last start. Well, as always, Jim, we appreciate your insight and the conversation. Look forward to chatting with you tomorrow night for game two of the uh, three-game series against the Rays.